समस्त जन कल्याण So, Swami Dev is Guru of our Swamiji, Tapon Maharaj. In about 150 years back, he had a fleet of buses, not one or two fleet, palatial house. 150 years back, he had a car, left everything, did not take more than what is necessary for the train fare. He did not take more than what is necessary for the train fare, landed in Himalayas. Next 34 years, he did not come down. Kings go and prostrate to him. And even today, see, we are all worried all the time, security, money. Can we be poorer than that? Leaving everything. And you know where he used to sleep? Wandering in the Himalayas? Because he doesn't carry a bag also. He used to sleep on the ice because there's no choice. Born with a diamond spoon. So that's the value add for money. None of us are going to go to that state. Why are we worried about insecurity? None of us will go to that state. Right? Insecurity. There's nothing greater than this. Even Mahapariva, all the kings, all the heads of the states, even foreign, they go and prostrate to him. He sleeps on a veranda. He sleeps on a veranda. On a wooden plank. Why? Because the kings don't have what he has. What they have, he has no interest. So, that's the highest stage you can get just for asking if you are available fully. What do you mean uh, available fully? Because a lot of punya they have done in the previous lives, they somehow come to satsang like this. It, it's not an accident. Nobody can enter this place and know Sinmayanaji, Tapon Maharaj, if they are not blessed in many lives of punya. Impossible. Impossible. So they have done so much, come, but still not get totally involved. You call them, come to the class. Next class I will come. Today I have a birthday party. Right? They have attended a birthday party when nothing is there, God. You will progress. But why delay Godhood? It's just there for your asking. If you are totally available to listen, you get as you listen. It's not something to do. Such a glorious state of being God 
you were you are postponing for other things. Next class, I would. Okay, sorry. We canvas for people, classes, not we want members. Krishna never had more than one. Shankara had only four. Dakshinamurti had seven. I am having more than that. So it's not for numbers. We know what it's what it is, what, how beautiful it is. We want to share it. We want to share it. So Krishna says in Gita, last when he's concluding, you may say, I love Krishna, but Krishna says, I should love you. You love me is okay. I should love you. How will I love? He says, concluding 18th chapter, those who do my work, spread my work, are dearer, dearest to me. And you may still have doubt. So he reaffirms it with another sentence. Nobody is dearer to me than them. So get committed. Bring one or two people. You have paid the Rishi Runa. We have five Runas. One of them is Rishi Runa. Get one or two people. You have changed their lives. One entry into any satsang, you have changed their lives. They cannot go back. Do that. And now, I am going to take you from ordinary known things to us to something what we know, we never care to give it attention. Do not worry about technical terms, moksha, liberation. They're just words. I'm going to talk about your life, my life. That's why it's important for people who come to my class to come before the beginning. If they have an urgency, they can leave for 10 minutes earlier because next day I will repeat. But it's important because the first moments I start connecting the subject to the life. First few minutes. So do not worry about moksha, Upanishad, all that big terms. In fact, I would prefer not to use a single Sanskrit word and quote, but I'm going to do plenty of them because that's the way. That's the way you, it goes on in your mind. Manana, reflection goes on. It has its impact also. Left to me, I wouldn't like to do that. Any big topic, Gurudev used to do. However big the topic is, you don't have to use one Sanskrit word, one technical term. It's your life. What technical term you need? It's my life. Your life, my life. We don't need any technical term. But still, I will use that. And in plenty. Because I have to market myself. all of us know every minute we are evolving. That's the purpose of life. Even Darwin says that from stone we evolve. Evolution is the purpose. Right? Where it will stop? That's a different question. We don't have to worry now. But what is evolution? What is evolution? Growing in stature. Growing in stature. Having more power. Having more freedom. Having more power. Having more freedom. That's evolution. Stones are confined to their location. They can't move. Right? 
plants a little shake when the wind is they respond, but still confined there. Animals do not know anything other than eating, mating. That's all right. They are slaves to everybody. It's only human being. Cow gives you milk. But the cow cannot make ice cream. You make ice cream out of the milk. The cow that gives the milk cannot make ice cream. It cannot make butter. Right? So that's the evolution. What's the height of this evolution? You get this beautiful statement, what I'm going to say in the supernatural. So you see how advanced is this supernatural. He says, God made me. I am imperfect. I made God. He is perfect. So I am better than God. Do you agree or you don't agree? Who made God? You and I. We, what is our concept? He is perfect. What are we? Right. So this journey from limitation, imperfection, slavery, sorrow, death, to immortality, infinite bliss, total freedom is called evolution. It's called evolution. It's not a product of doing. I need money. I want to become rich. I want to become rich. I don't know how to make you rich, but I can definitely give you a few clues how to lose in shares. Come to me. Right? I can give you tuition in that. Right? But anyway, either to grow or to lose, you have to do something. Produce. You have to do something. What you don't have. Or change things. We just said butter, uh, butter from milk. How you get it? How you get it? From yeah. butter, churn it, curd, from curd you get yes, milk, churn it, curd, curd to butter. Right? That's called changing. I will use Sanskrit also later. I will finish the Possibilities in the material world. Producing, changing, and gold and diamonds are got from earth. Diamond is nothing but carbon. Nothing but carbon. Right? But you can't use carbon. What do you do? Refine it. Refine it. And then I need something. I need something. Go and get it. These are the four methods of gaining things that we don't have. Sanskrit, because that will go in, that will be useful. Producing is called Utpadyam. Changing is called Vikaryam. Refining is called samskaryam. Right? Getting is called apyam. These are the four means to get something what you don't have. These are the four means. I particularly requested Amma to be in this class because she knows five times more than me. So seeing her, I get inspiration. Ritu, she stays in Spartan Road. You are not very far off. Amma, at this age, doesn't have to walk. After every class, you pick her up and drop her. Right? So, producing, changing, refining, gaining. These are the four methods to gain what we don't have, right? But what you don't have through this process has to be finite because 
They are all products of time and space. Anything, any product which is the product of time and space cannot be infinite, cannot be permanent, including your gods or my gods. That's the very text says, what is God? Death. What is God? Hunger. I'm not telling you. So don't throw stones at me. Text will tell. Right? They were very gods are finite. Krishna was shot by arrow. Rama disappeared into Sarayu. Right. So anything which is a product of time and space has to be finite. Has to be finite. Is there something wrong? No. How did you come to this class to know that you are God and to experience the God without a body which is finite? Nothing wrong. Food, you need it. Body, you need it. All finite things, you need it. Contempt. You need to think that end of I couldn't come to class because I have to attend a birthday party. That is not appreciable. Prahlada renounced his father. Vibhishna renounced his brother. Meera renounced the family for God. Why? That's the highest. Gurudev's beautiful sentences. Nobody can make sentences like him. To renounce the higher, to renounce the lower for the higher is sacrifice. To renounce the higher for the lower is compromise. To renounce the lower for the higher is sacrifice. To renounce the higher for the lower is compromise. To renounce birthday party to the class is sacrifice. To renounce the class for birthday party is compromise. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not having anybody in mind to say these things and to hurt them. You have to understand the importance. I'm not trying to, but it, it's all in the process of growth. They're not wrong. Absolutely not wrong. The very reason they knew they were class, they are blessed. Right? So they are in the process. They are not wrong. But you should know So, like that, all I need to maintain the I'm seventh right. All that I need, secondary. Secondary is called in Sanskrit apara. Primary is called para. 
right? Appara is necessary. Don't try to condemn money. Oh, you know, we say money, artham, anartham, bhava, and it's quote Sri Shankara. We quote it. But everybody, including Swamiji's, to build their ashrams and schools, they need money. The poor mother doesn't need because he doesn't undertake any projects also like that. In fact, he doesn't, he wanders in Himalayas. Someday he was wondering, God has to, God will provide me, he has to provide. I don't know, this is such a remote place. No human being for the next 200 miles. How I will get my food today? He has so much faith. Robbers came, robbers came, threatened him. Show me what you have. He said, see, he had nothing. Robert said, he is a real sannyas. They gave food for him. They gave food for him. All true life stories. Don't fail to read Wanderings in Himalayas. You will then know you can never be poorer because you don't need all that you think you need. But still, we can't be upon Maharaj overnight. We had made a beginning. Otherwise, we, you won't be here in this class. You, we have made a beginning. We are definitely going to then go there. Only one mistake you should not do in your life. Don't tell God, I am yours. After that, what happens is, even if you go astray, he doesn't leave you. He pulls you back. That also comes here. God doesn't leave anybody to go out of them. He is like a man who is having 40 sheep. One sheep missing, he will not allow it. He will go and search for it. God is like that. He doesn't allow you to leave. Right? So don't do that mistake ever saying, God, I want you, I am yours. You cannot come back. It's one way traffic. Right. So these are the two dimensions. One is apara, secondary. The other is para, primary. We have to know what is secondary, what is primary to make our life meaningful. Children from Parents who are daily wage earners, laborers, have gone to the top of the world. There are billionaires going to colleges, have ended up in bars, ultimately life is lost. Because they go to college because father had money, and that's the place you can enjoy them. They don't know what they want. They do not know what they want. Unless you also, you and I do, do know what we want. We won't be searching for it. We won't get the best. And why do we compromise anything with the finite? Is there a choice that we will see? What happens when we want something to make us secure and happy? Please think with me. This is not giving you a lecture on philosophy. I am not doing a favor to God, Guru, or me. It's your life. You have to listen to it keenly. If your life has to be best. Otherwise, don't. You have a choice because Hinduism believes we have a number of lives. Where is the hurry? Where is the hurry? Right? So, primary, you should know 
have that in view. Use everything to that. I told you, children born to laborers have gone to the top of the world. Children born to the kings have wrecked their lives. Have wrecked their lives. Right? Why? No vision at all. What I want from life. Absolutely no vision. What I want from life. How will I get it? They never inquire. Unless you inquire, you will not know the data. You cannot grow. You cannot evolve. Gurudev's famous example. The students are there. I just want to check up. Was uh, Apple going up before Newton discovered gravitation law? It was coming down on me, no? even then. But nobody inquired why it should not go up. Why it should not go up. Newton scratched his head for 26 years. Suddenly it occurred to him, gravitational force. So only when you inquire, you get the answer. And inquire also, simply, you just inquire, you won't get it. Newton, 26 years, you put his head and heart there. When the head and heart combined, there's a new power coming, which is called intuition. When the head and the heart get integrated, you get a new power called intuition. So inquiry is the basis, especially, I told you, primary, secondary. If it is secondary, you have to get. If it is primary, what I will tell you just now. So I told you, secondary are utpadyam, samskaryam, vikaryam, prapyam. This is called apara. And this is called Abhyudaya, progressing. Right? Apara and Abhyudaya, progressing. Necessary. Secondary. What is primary? We told you anything got in time and space is finite. And none of us can ever be satisfied without getting fullness. Don't worry about infinite. We don't understand. We let us talk only terms which we understand. Fullness. Till you get fullness, you cannot be satisfied. You go on trying. Why? People with 6 billion crores, 7 billion crores also do crimes. Where is the need? That's the way. Because finite cannot give you completeness, fullness. It doesn't have it. It doesn't have it. Why did the Buddha leave the kingdom? Because he found he, 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 this is not what I want. This is not what I want. Several people, because I should also introduce something what will interest you. Marlin Monroe. Have you heard of the name? In her period, she was a craze. You know, she committed suicide. Why? Because she had everything, but no fullness. Oh. You were talking about Marlene Monroe, one exceptional case. Your own place. Right? One film actor here, I 
just know old age, you know. Sometimes, sorry, I'm, I had to confess I'm old. Um, the girl, I didn't remember, forgot uh, her name. Anyway, you will remember when I say the story. She got presidential award. Next day morning, her name starts with yes. I don't know. Huh? Smita Patel. Smita Patel. Smita Patel. No, no, it's me. Smita Patel. Tamilian, Tamil actress. Shobha. Correct. See, our age we remember. Right. Shobha. Next day morning, she has to receive presidential award. What an honor. Presidential award. It's not Tamil film. All films, Lotus Award, Golden Award. Next day morning, she has to re receive. She committed suicide because she found that cannot also make her full. Dr. Cherian in Chennai, that also you will know. You, we, only 20 years gap between you and me, so you will know. Others, two to egg. Like Dr. Cherian, a very noble doctor. He's a bachelor. He never didn't need money because hospitals insist you have to take some money. 50 rupees he used to take. Serve everybody free. Tried to commit suicide several times. He failed. Once he succeeded. Once he succeeded. Why? Because fullness you cannot get through money, through name, through people. Na karmana, na prajaya, na dhanena, tyage na yeke na. Only through renunciation. What renunciation? I will come to that. First, I have to establish between the primary and the secondary. Right? The secondary is apara. Abhyudaya, progressive, product of time, space, effort, cause, cause and effect. But imperfect, incomplete, has death, disease, DT. No, let me tell you. You are wanting to provide some comfort to you, security, comfort. When you are wanting that comfort to come through your acquisition or any other process, your mind is resisting the opposite of it. The discomfort and the sorrow attached to it. In your expectations, always the both are there. What you like, what you don't like, you can't separate. In all your expectations, how will you be peaceful with both being there? How will you be peaceful? I am expecting this to happen. Why? This present thing, I don't like. So this is also in your mind. That's also in your mind. Together. So somebody recently told me, if somebody asked me, well, how, how are you? I have no direct answer. I will tell them, I don't sleep on a bed of roses, nor on a bed of thorns. It's mixed up. It won't, you can't sleep. Because bed of roses with bed of thorns also you can't sleep. A cut short. How do you then sleep? Sleep in Krishna's lap. Simple. Right. Sleep on Krishna's lap. So, people, as they evolve, they become more and more sensitive. They are not happy with material things. They want finer things. Next grade to the material things are people who love music, who love nature, 
who love arts, who love poetry. Next class. Right? Next class. And those are the examples I gave you committed suicide. So that also is not the best. First class, pure material. Next class, little subtler joys. Right? And there are others who try to serve the world. Who try to serve the world. Relatively better, yet not complete. Because they feel I'm doing so much, but nobody recognizes, nobody cares. Still, it's not complete. Right? What's completeness? Is there something called completeness? To believe there is God, I can give you one example. This class, Bruda Renika, I'm taking for the third time. Preparation, I have done 100 times. This particular class also I have done 20 times, write and rewrite. But what I am talking is completely different. That's where God is there. He talks. Proof of God. Right? So where did I leave? Yeah. They are not complete. So, you, the first card, pure materialist, next artist, you are listening, but not listening completely. Otherwise, you would have told me, you stopped at artist, right? It went beyond artist. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's my niece, I can't fight more than that. Right? <laughs> And she is also in charge of the network. I have to keep her in good moods. Okay. So, materialists can't feel fullness, even artists. Next category are the people who try to harmonize with the totality, serve them. Relatively better, even then. They are not totally complete. They go to depressions. Because they don't get fullness. All these things are punctuated. There is no fullness in them. Because all of them are products of time, products of space, products of cause, products of effect. Oh, I, I forgot. I my this thing into silent mode. Hmm. Right. Then where is fullness? You have to inquire. I said, if it is a product of time and space, it cannot be full. So it cannot be a product of time and space. That means what? It should be there at all times, at all places. Think. I'm not in a hurry. You can raise your hand because it's your life. You are spending one hour trusting me. I don't want you to go unattended completely. It's your life. Right? So, Anything product of time, space, cause, effect is finite. So if it has to be full, complete, infinite, it has to be at all times, at all places. It has to be at all times and at all places. Right? Is there something like that? Is there something like that? It's there before you. You can see, but you have not applied your mind. You have not applied your mind. Now I am telling you, I am giving you enough time to think. Don't please miss this chance. 
even going home, make notes, try to think before next Saturday, whatever I say. Because don't do a favor to Chingna Mission, to Rishis, or to me listening. Do a favor to yourself. Because just by listening, just by wanting money, I cannot become a millionaire. Wanting to be an RT, even a social service person, I, I cannot because I need several factors. But wanting to be God by just listening and understanding, you will become God at that minute. Okay, fullness, completeness. Why fullness, completeness cannot be a product of time and space. It has to be there at all times, at all places. Is there something like that? Where are you sitting? On the floor, on the chair. Chair is on the floor. Floor is on the earth. Earth is supporting the space. Space is where? In sleep, there is no space. There is no time. Where sleep, there is no time, there is no space. So time and space are concepts of mind. Are concepts of where there is no mind, they are not there. Are you dead in sleep? You're not dead. So you don't need a mind and mind to make you live. But mind needs you to live. You don't need, yeah. Please come. Sister, I have one small doubt. Who? I have one small doubt. And about time. So time is one, one time, as if concept is there. And another thing is consciousness about time. That I have, I have to complete. So that is, I have to do that. Do not in interrupt me unless it is unavoidable because my flow will get upset. So consciousness, I am coming. That's where I am taking the subject. Right? So. Because when we see children, they don't have time conscious yesterday and tomorrow. So that's what I'm telling. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. Consciousness doesn't go. If it, please be seated. Please be seated. Listen to me completely, then you come. Uh, you see, in sleep, the mind is not there. Right? Because the mind has gone to sleep along with that time and space have gone. But is there nothing there? Why? You were there. Mind is not there, you are living, they didn't bury you. Not only that, after getting up, I didn't know anything. So you knew, you knew you were living, you were conscious, but there was nothing for you to know. Because all things are projections of the mind. All objects are projections of the mind. What about you? When the body, consciousness, mind, intellect are withdrawn in sleep, you are not conscious of the body, you are not conscious of the mind, you are not conscious of the intellect. But you are still a new and a conscious being. Anybody calls you by name, you respond. Touches, you respond. Because consciousness is there. You exist. You are not dead. Consciousness, if it has no existence, it cannot be there. Existence, if it has no consciousness, existence also cannot be there because consciousness is life. Existence without life cannot be there. Consciousness without existence cannot be there. They are not two different things. They are not 
do different things. So, when the body, mind, intellect are there or you are conscious, you are there. When they are not there also, you are there. Therefore, you outlive them. Therefore, they serve you. They are meant to serve you. You do not need them. They need you. The state of sleep, where there is consciousness, which is existence, what is it? Happiness, bliss. Otherwise, you don't go to sleep. No government of India or any corporate will pay me to live in a five-star hotel of the time. But only condition, I should work without sleep. How long will you be? You will resign the job after 30 days because you need sleep. You can be without a five-star hotel, but you cannot be without sleep. Why? In sleep, you, you go back to your own self, which recharges the entire personality. The happiness is in that. That happiness is projected through the body, through the mind, through the intellect, through the world, through the experiences. I shall give you an example, Gurudev's example. Please understand, whatever I talk, every bit of it is Gurudev's. Right? This is only a mic. One example Gurudev gives. Somebody gave Gurudev coffee. <laughs> Two things we had to draw. He said, who says there is no happiness in coffee? I'm enjoying it. But it's fine. Once it's finished, again, after one hour, coffee, coffee, coffee. Right? It's finished. If it's fullness, you should, you should not need anything again because you are complete. At that moment, it served you. What happens? Is the if the happiness is in the coffee, it should give happiness to all. Does coffee give happiness to all? Why? Your mind get addicted to coffee. So coffee, 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 coffee. When coffee is given at that minute, that agitation subsides. You are with the consciousness. The bliss is in the consciousness. You experience that. You think the joy comes from the coffee. The joy comes from the coffee. Since anyway, you don't know all this logic. When you drink coffee, you are happy. So you want every time coffee. The secret is not to ask for coffee, not to expect coffee. Be with yourself like in sleep. You are happy. In sleep, you don't have anything. You are happy. So this is spirituality to bring the state of sleep into waking. To bring the state of sleep into waking is spirituality. In sleep, things are there. But you are not aware of the presence of things. In spiritual consciousness, when you have withdrawn the mind from everything, you are clearly conscious of the absence of things in your consciousness. That's the difference between sleep and samadhi. So, now, existence again, right? Consciousness is existence that is there even when they are not there. Okay, they are there till I am living. After that, what happens? The five elements become five elements. They are not lost. They exist. Name and form changes. They exist. Name and form changes. When you cut a tree, it becomes wood. 
tree is gone, wood exists. When you burn the wood, it becomes charcoal, right? Wood is gone, charcoal exists. When you powder it, charcoal is gone, powder exists. Existence is all the time there. In existence, the tree manifested. You, the existence, in you, the body manifested, the mind manifested, the intellect manifested. Right? All of them manifested in you. They stayed in you in, during the waking. They go back to their source in sleep. Right? They go back to their source in sleep. Right? You can be there without all of them. They can't be there without you. What cannot be dismissed is the subject, is the truth. What can be dismissed is the object apparent. No, existence. I gave you some hint, your existence. Oh, I am existence after death. I told you all that. You are still the same five elements. Your heat energy, water, everything mixes with the atmosphere. They are all there. Nothing is lost. How do you know? You don't believe spiritual. You should believe scientists. What did the science, what science says? Matter and energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Matter and energy. Therefore, they are there all the time. All the time they are there. Because you can't create, you can't destroy. So what happens? They change. For a change to happen into two dimensions, there has to be something supporting it other than the two dimensions. Again, your science law. Anything in static condition or uniform motion. Anything in static condition or uniform motion needs a third agency, right? Needs a third agency. Matter and energy cannot by themselves change. There has to be a third agency to change. There has to be a substrate. There has to be a substrate. That is existence. I exist. How can you have a doubt I'm troubling you? I exist. I'm sitting on this which exists. This is on the floor which exists. Your chair is on the floor which exists. And the building exists. Building is on the space exists. Space exists on floor. That itself is in existence. Existence is prior to all, all these manifestations. What is prior is called is cause. What is prior is called cause. The cause of the entire manifested world is existence, which is also consciousness, which is life. That's why scientists have said even stones have life. Even stones have the life. So that's there at all times, at all places. We said finite things are not there at all times, at all places, so you don't get fullness. So you, the existence, you, the consciousness is there at all times, at all spaces, but you are obsessed with one particular form and therefore you limit yourself and suffer the pangs of those limitations, the body, mind, the intellect, Try to withdraw like in sleep, bring it to waking state. Then you shall experience that beautiful state of bliss. I now stop here if you have any doubt. Amma, you come here. I can't hear properly. That's why half impatience with you was because I can't hear. Come, come here. You are going to add to what I say, you don't have to do. If you have a doubt, only that doubt, ask. Because the, the, from one stage, we automatically, when the doubt rises in our mind, we go to the next. So therefore, at every stage, you start interpreting. We can't continue. But 
there is something what we could have we would have missed that you you, should, you ask please now ask i was talking about the time and i had uh, off late i had one uh, a kind of a understanding about that the grade of consciousness about time because i just uh, three children came into my office room one was saying he is doing first standard, second, second standard, third, third standard. And the boy who is doing the first standard, he was saying, I am doing first standard, so I born first. So I understood his time consciousness is not clear and I can't make him to understand also. So then I was thinking our conscious level raise along with the time conscious. No. Uh, because time is in consciousness. No, I just said because I my mean, understanding. No, you should have, are, have a connectivity to the topic we are discussing. You understand? Otherwise, it will be endless. Unless the topic is connected to what I am talking, it will be endless. We will not progress. You understand? So, you were understanding various things and trying to bring out that. We will not progress in the this. You, your doubt should be directly related to what I said. Otherwise, you have to wait. Or con contact me later. Okay. You can call me later also. I will give you my number also. I am not impatient to answer anybody. I don't think any doubt is useless. But class has to progress. So when it has to progress, only doubts relating to what I said. Okay. Thank you. But you please ask me, I will explain to you. I'll give my number. You I sleep only at 12 30 night. So therefore, this consciousness, she said grades. Grades are there in the body. Grades are there in the mind. Grades are there in the intellect. Are there grades in your sleep? Kings sleep, beggars sleep, saints sleep, sinners sleep. Are there grades? Because consciousness no grades. Grades come from the mind. So all physical things, first class, second class, third class, right? They're all human <coughs> projections and concepts. In the consciousness, there are no grades. Example is sleep. In sleep, there are no grades. In sleep, pure consciousness is there. That's complete. That's full. You can bring that into waking. How? How? In sleep, what happened for you to be happy? Mind got disconnected. In waking, you disconnect the mind. You can experience that. In waking, you disconnect the mind. You can experience. How to disconnect? That's all called religion. Religion, matter, is inner. You can't do anything with that. This so-called consciousness is already perfect. You can't do anything with that. If at all you can do something, you can do with your mind and intellect. Right? To integrate the mind and intellect, to make them know that they are not different from consciousness, is called religion, spirituality. To integrate the mind and intellect, to turn their attention to their very source, not difficult. Where from the mind comes consciousness? You are aware of the thoughts? They begin there. Where do they end? In consciousness. Where did they stay in consciousness? So it's not difficult to know consciousness if only you know where from your thoughts arise. How long will it take for you to know where from the thoughts arise? Close your eyes and feel in one second. And that consciousness is new. That consciousness is God. How long will it take you to realize God and to become God? One minute. But it doesn't happen to all. Why? Because they are not listening to me as I am talking. They are in their own world. Right? 
you know, few people didn't come today, promised people, you know why? There is India and Canada T20. <laughs> Right? If you are available, simplest, easiest, immediate, complete is God who. I told you now, consciousness is God because it's life, existence, which never becomes non-existence. Existence can never become non-existence. Right? And it's life. That's consciousness. That's you. And that's God. How long does it take? It doesn't take long. Now, one thing, it doesn't take long. Second thing, you forget your consciousness, your God. Can you? Having known you are that, you cannot even forget it. Then what happens? Habitual mind goes on coming. Then what you have to do? Just say that is mine. I have nothing to do with that. Right? That's mine. I have nothing to do with that. Right? I've been bluffing. Not seeing what I made note. Now let me see at least. Yeah. So this is this whole essence of Gita. We are talking about Upanishad, Brudar and Upanishad. Very rarely people have an opportunity to listen to this because it's so big, people don't take it. And all this is there in Gita. What it says. You want to experience me, the God, the consciousness, the life, the fullness? Come on. Disconnect yourself with the body, with the mind, with the intellect. You will feel me. Sarva dharman parityajya. Mame kam sharanam vajya. Aham tva sarva papevya. Moksha isyani masacha. Why don't everybody experience you are God? And that's best because they have their own preferences. Yanti, Deva Pratan, Devan. People who put subtle aspects of their, I want to see beautiful things, I want to hear beautiful things, I want to taste beautiful things, they quote that, they will get that. Bhutani yanti bhutetya. I want this house, I want that car, you will get that. Right? Pitru nyanti pitru vrataha. I want to extend this family so that the continuity, that's why it's called santanam. Santa means continuity. San existence, santa, santanam, continuity of this family, Pitruloka. Right? All our efforts are to gain things, bhuta, to get subtle joys, gandharvas, arts and all that. Then, family values, Pitruloka. Gandharva, Swargadoka. Bhuta scientists, world of science, world of Gandharvas, or Swargaloka, world of Pitrus, Pitruloka, and he who wants me will get me. They are not wanting me, they don't get. It's not my fault, I am available everywhere. It's not my fault, I am available everywhere. Yanti, Madhyaji, they will get me. Maham, Yanti, Madhyaji, no. Right? Sometimes I don't remember this because mind is in a different frequency. Doesn't matter. 
Right? You, whatever you want, you will get it. Why? You are God. Why whatever you want, you get it? You are God. You want material things, you will get it. You want sensuous things, you will get it. Right? You want to spread values, you will get it. You want Godhood, you are already that, you know. Other things, upper, secondary, you don't have, you have to get it. Apraptasya praptihi. What you don't have, you have to get it in secondary things. Infinite completeness, you are that. You cannot do anything, you have to only know. Para, praptasya praptihi. Apara, apraptasya praptihi. Para, praptasya prapti. What is praptasya prapti? What is praptasya? Some people have this habit. I think my niece also has this habit. No? Go on searching in the house. My specs are missing. My specs are missing. Somebody says, look on the top of the head. Inside there is nothing, but look at the top. They touch it and then they become silent. This is praptasya prapti. Even though you have, it is not useful to you because you are not aware. When you are aware, it becomes useful. Therefore, it's as good as getting it. So para, the infinite, the fullness is gaining what you already have. The secondary, the imperfect products of time and space. Uh, you have to get through all cumbersome things. This Upanishad is such a beautiful Upanishad. It, make, it will make you realize that you need apara. It doesn't despise you. Apara. But it doesn't wait too long. In every mantra, he gives a hint. You need it, but that is secondary. Go to the primary. This is the beauty of this Upanishad. Otherwise, what happens is, in some places, para is described, it's a concept. Apara is described, it's a conscious, it's a concept. You do not know how to gain the wisdom through concepts. This Upanishad compels you to think along with him, whether you like it or not, and will strike at this essential card, the consciousness. The treatment of this Upanishad, Brahda Arindika, is extraordinary. The way in which it does is too modern. It's too, too modern. Right? The Upanishad itself is beautiful. Shankara commentary is beautiful, plus that's also not great. The Madhava Nanda who translated it is beautiful, plus plus. It's a beautiful Upanishad. But many places, today I will take just three to four minutes more. Right? From tomorrow I may even reduce. I will talk to you after the class. Because I can't leave the topic here. So, the Upanishad is extraordinary, but there are a lot of places where even you struggle, teacher teaches, you can't understand. What you can't understand, you don't need it, leave it. Why? A doctor goes along with the house surgeons to the patient's wards. Patient, yana pa, yabdi rikai? Yana ka samsi, sariya pasikida, pasikide. Aparam, toilet poriya, pore. Okay, you can discharge him. Right? Otherwise, he knows, he will give. But he turns to the house surgeons and he talks in technical terms. This man doesn't have to know that. These people have to know because they have to continue it. Similarly, what Shankara talks to other schools of philosophy, other opponents are the things that you don't understand, you don't have to. Whatever you understand is enough. Whatever you understand is enough. Go on reading, it will do its trick. It will do its trick. You don't understand also, it will do its trick because that's the style in which it is put. What is an Upanishad? 
in material sciences. If you want engineering, you have to choose mathematics, physics, right? If you want uh, medicine, you have to choose biology, zoology. Source books are different. Spirituality of what? The source books are called Upanishads. The source books are called Upanishads. Upa, near, ni, definitely, shall that which destroys your ignorance, loosens your bonds, and takes you to the goal, your own dimension. That's called Upanishad. These Upanishads where thousands or last 200 are available, but 108 are authenticated in Mukti Upanishad. Out of them, 10 are supposed to be most important because all the three Acharya, Shankara, Ramanaja, Madhva has commented on them. Right? Out of them, one is the Prudharna Upanishad. In that Mahamantra, Aham Brahmas becomes. We shall see next week. Thank you all. And um, yeah, I just want to know. Hey, see, this is God. I said I may need three, four minutes more. No, he said, no, I won't let you down. 8.14, one minute before. Sir? Okay. So, I just want to know, if is 8.15 too late for many of you to return? I can make it 8, one hour, 7 to 8. Or even, I can make it 6.45 to 8, or even 6.45 to 7.45. What is the majority people who are, who are hmm? 7 to 8. Okay, 7 to 8, because 8.15 is a little long. It takes time to go home, uh, see, right? So we'll make it 7 to 8, one hour, right? So we'll meet next Saturday. It won't be as bad as this. It will be worse. <laughs> Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihum Sri Guru Yogam Harihum